Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Take a look at this, Jessica over here actually hatched out a little tiny morning gecko. Might be the smallest, it's like the smallest lizard on the planet, I think, right? I mean, oh, I don't know if they're smaller there ones. There might but be smaller ones, but this is definitely the smallest thing we've ever hatched the here. Oh my God, it is so absolutely adorable. These are the ones that are parthenogenic, which means that they don't have any males. So they're all females and they produce viable offspring. This is the very first one we have ever hatched and it is so absolutely tiny. It's crazy. It's, I mean, how in the heck, what do these things eat, Jessica? <laughs> fruit flies and then they eat that same like Pangea or fruit. Oh, okay, so they'll eat like a nectar yeah. type of thing. So they are ridiculous. It is so cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up. I'm gonna do the smallest terrarium that we've ever made here uh, because why not? We've got two little babies hatched out. They are absolutely adorable. So that is my task for the day is making a really cool little terrarium for these little monkeys. Aren't they crazy? But before I get started building that terrarium for the morning geckos, I do have to feed a bunch of animals here over at the Reptarium. We're gonna go ahead and see if Pickles wants to eat. Come on, girl. Come on. There she goes. What a beautiful snake. Whoo! Tell you what. She's incredible. So we're gonna have some fun feeding the Reptarium, and then we'll get back to building that terraria. The always entertaining butterscotch. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Over here. Over here. Over here. Whoop! There she goes. Whoo! Come on. Come on. Whoa! Okay, girl. There you go. Ah, whoo! She's awesome. I mean, what a cool snake, right? Always talk about getting to know your snakes and how they feed and stuff like that. Some snakes, you know, will grab it. Some snakes, you have to lay it on the ground. Some snakes, you know, you do different things to it. When it comes to Peppa, the Western hognose snakes, you literally just have to lay them on the ground. She crawls up to eat them. For whatever reason, she doesn't like to take them off of tongs or when you actually handle it to them. She just gets a little freaked out for some reason. So I put it in there, set it down. Uh, she'll go right at that. Within 10 or 15 minutes, she'll go ahead and crush those mice. Dude, I just noticed, is this like school? Like you get the turds? Like I got four bronze turds. Need... Look at that. It's a hell of a trophy. Hey, what's going on guys? So I've been a little bit uh, a little bit lax on the cool videos with the spiders lately. So I uh, figured I'd get this little cute little guy out and uh, show you guys him. So this is our Brazilian black uh, tarantula or the Gramistola pulchra. Gramistola pulchras are just a lot like the rose hairs. It can be a little bit more temperamental, but they are wonderful, beautiful creatures. But I will say they definitely definitely carry a little higher price range, especially for a tarantula. But uh, that being said, I, I, one really cool fact about tarantulas is that believe it or not, a lot of people seem to think that they that I've trained all our tarantulas to be really cool. Well, I actually just know that, that, that there are certain ones that are less likely to bite you than others. Believe it or not, tarantulas actually don't have brains. They can't learn, they, can't, they don't really like retain information like that necessarily. They actually have what we call ganglia. So it's this like cluster of nerves that basically sort of like just help help fire off the synapses that need to happen for it to move and eat and react and that's pretty much all, all, all it really basically does but it makes them even more cooler because like these animals just like every other animal here they're all very very misunderstood and one of those things being especially that everyone thinks that they, they have brains that they think that they're 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 planning everything out and they and trust me my friends these guys are these guys are nothing like that at all let's go ahead and see if the woma python wants to eat today come on girl Ah, there it is. Good job. <laughs> She's loving her new cage. We had pretty good luck last time feeding the little pigs off, so we're gonna do a combination of pigs and rabbits today to our bigger snake, Asper. Let's see if he wants to eat for us. Oh, there he goes. It's so good that Casper seems to like pigs because you know we're having to feed him four, five, six rats because he really doesn't want to take rabbits. This is nice big meal, get some girth on him. I love that. Again, just knowing your animals, I know Maisie always loves to stay in this little hide and it definitely always is happy to take rodents right off the tongs. There you go, sweetheart. There you go. There it is. And then he always just drags it right back into that hide and eats it. Uh, very predictable snake, but pretty awesome. And this is a little terrarium I'm gonna set up for the morning geckos. I'm gonna actually cut some polyurea, make a nice rock face back. We'll actually foam that in. I'll show you how to do that. And then I just have a couple little decorations that we'll do. Uh, but I think this is gonna be a really cute, uh, <laughs> It's gonna be a really cute terrarium. Uh, definitely the smallest terrarium that I've ever set up because I've never had lizards this small. So first thing we have to do is cut the backdrop. And that's one of the advantages to working with this polyurea, just like the whole Reptarium. I mean, it's hard to cut. It definitely is uh, is very durable, but it's gonna last forever. I mean, literally, 
30 years from now, this is gonna look exactly like it is. You can scrub it, you can do anything you want with it. And of course, what we're gonna do is foam this in, number one, and then we have to foam all these cracks because obviously these morning geckos are super, super small. We don't want them to get in these cracks at all. So we'll go ahead and foam all the way around, just locking it in, number one, as well as making sure that the animal doesn't get behind the backdrop. So I'll let that dry obviously for the next several hours and you can go back and actually with a razor blade just kind of trim it off a little bit. Then what you do is you actually put a layer of silicone in there with a little bit of cement dust and it actually blends right in. So you don't see the big thick black foam, it just looks like rock blending right in. So I think that's gonna be a really nice backdrop. I think Crackle, the black-headed python, is definitely ready to eat, but let's face it, it's always ready to eat. Here you go, bud. There it is. And Woma pythons and blackheads are really similar. I mean, they're just different species of Aspidites. Obviously, that blackhead is there because they'll hide down in kind of burrows and just stick their head out to absorb that sun for thermal regulation, whereas Woma pythons come from an area that's much warmer, and they come out and they sun their whole body. But pretty much a real similar animal, blackheads oftentimes get a little bit larger as well. Cool, cool Australian pythons. Sunrise also loved their little piglet last time too, so let's see if she wants to take one. Here go, girl. Good job, girl. And again, I love the fact that we can get this kind of mid-sized animal. Uh, I love all animals, pigs, rabbits, everything like that, so I don't take any joy out of it, but uh, this is a really good meal for some of our big constrictors. This is Mr. Nubbins, the Dominican Red Mountain Boa, and it's a cool snake. There it is. Whew. Just a pretty amazingly beautiful snake. And you have a handful of these. You have like the Dominicas, you have the Haitian boas, you have all of these animals that are in that area that are all live bearing boas that are pretty interesting looking for sure. Some can get relatively large, like the Cuban boas can literally get like six or seven foot, whereas the Dominican mountain boas, that's about as large as they're gonna get. watched that Bigfoot show yesterday. Oh, it was actually, it was really good. Expedition Bigfoot. I no way, what was really it on? I don't know. It's, a, it's on Travel Channel. Travel. Oh. And it's actually pretty legit. I, like I mean, it. I think it's good. And, and they teased like some footage that they found, like infrared, yeah. of what the primatologist said. It was a, a big primate. Yeah. And it was like in, in Washington. Oregon. Yeah, Oregon, that's right. That is crap. I'm a big, I'm a total believer, man. Total believer. I've only been. Thinking about this. Like Dude. I was thinking about this. When we do a podcast, we need to do a podcast all about Bigfoot. 100%. I'm totally down. We'll have Eric. Totally that can be yeah. a segment of ours. It's a like, like every it's like week? Not, it's not Bigfoot like update. sort of like conspiracies, but it's like, you know, common stuff. UFOs, big Dude, but you could yeah, see yeah, how I've only been to Oregon and Washington one time in my life, and you look out on those woods, and it just goes for miles. Like, there could be yeah. something out there, man. Oh, I, I mean, can see why people, Loch Ness, yeah, Loch Ness you know, yeah. Loch Ness, yeah, I've in been the there. woods. I've been what, there. Hey, what, do, what should we call our podcast? Oh, man, that's, oh, I need, you know. I need people to comment down below about what we should call our podcast. Took me two weeks to name that hamster. There's no way I could just go. And it's Hammy Boy. Hammy, Hammy Boy. Hammy it took two weeks for you to name Hammy yeah. Boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was well. like, Hammy, Hammy, Hammy. And then the next week I'm like, Boy, Boy, Boy. Boy, Hammy Boy. So is I'll it, come up with a good is it one. Boy? Or boy? Like, Boy. 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 Like boy. a B O I. Hammy, Hammy Boy. B O I. Okay, it's, in, it's trending right now. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. <laughs>
Uh, you guys know that I'm always trying to teach you things. I love educating. I'm going to teach you something right now. It's called the art of delegation. When you know someone else does something better than you, uh, it's good to have them do it. Lori is very good at this, and I'm going to let her do it, and I'm going to sit back and just watch. Is that okay with you? First of all, you could have at least got this done ready. Second of all, you know, if you put the energy into working instead of complaining, well, I'm going to put the energy you're, you're into like, something. <laughs> you're not going to like it. All right, I'll be over here. I'll be over here. <laughs> This is actually Tiger Lily. She's a Het Hypo Brazilian Rainbow Boa. Come on, girl. You want to eat? There it is. Good job, honey. Brazilian Rainbow Boas are definitely one of the coolest animals, and ironically enough, they're really related to the Dominican Red Mountain Boas, too. It's in the same genus of them, and uh, unbelievable how gorgeous they are. Of course, that rainbow sheen is why they call them a rainbow boa. Hopefully, with any luck, we'll have some babies this year, because last year was a terrible production year. We didn't produce even one baby. But fingers crossed, this year will be a really good year. Next up is Night Fury. Come on, bud. Wanna eat? Whoa! Where are you going, buddy? Come here, over here, over here. Come here. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There he is. Whoa. <laughs> he got a little crazy. It's, I think he had woke him up because he was kind of sleeping and he didn't seem interested. As soon as he started like, oh my God, there's gonna be food. Wham, it was on. Butterscotch for number two. Come on, girl. It's okay, girl. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. Ugh. Whew. That animal, I'm not kidding you, you know, I've been feeding big snakes forever. There's something about that animal because she strikes so far. It's like I have to toss it to her because I know if I get close, uh, she's going to get my arm. I mean, wow, that animal is crazy. I've never had a big snake so wild like butterscotch. Perdita's just coming out of shed, so I'm not sure if she's going to eat. Typically, I don't like feeding animals when they're just coming out of shed, but uh, today is the only day I can feed this week because we're actually open for the public and then we're going out of town to Texas, so it looks like she's actually interested. And it's interesting because Perdita is one of those snakes that sometimes will eat and shed. Yeah. There she goes, she definitely took it. So it is interesting, you know, she seems to always be in shed when I'm thawing out for food. So, uh, and I want her to feed, cause again, next week we're gonna be gone. So uh, she ate, that's awesome news. And it's Daisy's turn. Come on, little monkey, come on. Come on, come on. There she goes. There you go, big girl. She looks so beautiful, huh? What do you guys think? Cool. You guys like it? You're gonna be in tomorrow's vlog, all right? Yeah, <laughs> Nancy, you want food? Oh yeah, look at this, whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. Perfect. That's amazing. And we're actually just breaking down his cage right now. So we're feeding him. Then we'll kind of revamp his entire cage. And that's it for feeding for the day. Always love feeding. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And that's pretty much it, guys. We'll just get some water in there, moisten it up. We can put those geckos in there. Uh, pretty cool little terrarium. I like it. Definitely the smallest one I built. We'll eventually do some ABG. Or what they call Atlanta Botanical Garden, which is uh, the bioactive stuff. Get the geckos in here and that's it. So let me know what you guys think. As for now, I am going to just wish you an amazing day. If you like this video, you can hit that video right over here. Here's an entire playlist you can roll through. Get the click rate up, if you know what I mean. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button and turn the post notifications on. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.